Hello ladies and sirs, welcome back to another video. Today you join me here at Soromtech. Over the years I've created many contraptions throughout Soromtech and Azlabs of builds which actually work. I have built things from working trains to working rockets which lift off the ground to time machines. So I thought it would be a great idea to show all you ladies and sirs. So you can be inspired to build your own working contraptions. Or just copy what I've built here. <laughs> so the contraption for this build we're covering is the elevator, which works. Here is one of my lovely Sorombots to give a demonstration. As you can see, the elevator moves up, taking the player, or any entities, or blocks placed on the surface. Now let's show you how to build this thing. Be sure to take note of the north, east, south, and west, as that is important depending on where your command blocks are. The first two command blocks are for moving the structure, or using relative coordinates. The first set of coordinates should list the bottom southeastern part of the structure, followed by the second set of coordinates, which should list the top northwestern part, while the last set should target your northeastern set of coordinates followed by the Y coordinate being changed to however far up or down you need the elevator to go. Repeat for the other command block, adjusting the relatives to the position of the second command block. On the second layer you have four command blocks. The two most southern command blocks are used to replace the air in the spot where a redstone block will be placed to activate the whole contraption, while the most northern command blocks are used for teleporting the players. This also can be modified to be an at E, so you can teleport entities also. Make sure to adjust the radius though, so it encompasses the whole elevator of your design. For the teleporting up command, you do need to change your Y coordinate to be too above the actual location, otherwise you can risk falling through the elevator. Going down should be just fine. For the third layer, the two command blocks are responsible for setting a redstone block in the space from the layer below. This will activate the whole device and cause the elevator to move. And for the final layer, just add your final platform for railings and buttons or whatever decoration you need. Disclaimer, this device was created back in the version 1.12, so some of your commands might need updating for any versions 1.13 and above. As an extra little thing you can do to make your lives a little easier, you can add a call elevator button, which works using these two command blocks. How the call button works is by clearing the elevator shaft full of air, before the other command block copies a template from underneath the bottom of the elevator shaft, pasting it relative to the command block on the level. I hope you found this video interesting, I plan to do more in the future and show off other contraptions that I've made. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with other contraptions I bring out on the channel. Hopefully you're able to use this video to build your own elevators to use in your own builds. So as always ladies and sirs, until the next video, ta -ra.